Now I would like to call uh, another speaker. With equal pleasure, I invite Dr. Nermeen Mohammad, Doctor of Applied Linguistic Educator, Curriculum and Telepathy of Education, Egypt. Over to you, Nermeen. Yes. Over to you. Uh, welcome, welcome to everyone. Uh, good afternoon uh, from uh, Egypt. I'd like uh, to express my sincere thanks, uh, appreciation, uh, gratitude uh, for the awesome uh, uh, invitation uh, to the International Conference on uh, Fostering Innovation and Entrepreneurship uh, in School Education uh, to achieve uh, sustainable development goals. Also, a many thanks to Prof. Mutmaena for nominating me to be with her in this great conference. And all and many, many thanks to all the contributors and all speakers and all the participants in this great event. Okay, this is Dr. Nermin Mohammed Kamal Shalabi. A doctor of Applied Linguistics, a Curriculum and the TIFL Faculty of Education at the Mieta University, Egypt. Uh, please, uh, first, uh, let me share my screen. Mom, you can share your screen. Okay. Today's session was really interesting and the information which we all got, that's really a, a big information which we cannot find it from the books. And the key speakers which we were having today, they were having such a great knowledge related to education and with respect to the pandemic time period and the development which is going in the field of entrepreneurship. I think that uh, there is a technical uh, problem uh, to share my screen. So let's uh, uh, talk uh, orally. Uh, today, uh, let's talk about uh, innovation in EFL and ESL teaching. Uh, in, in, innovation in education is about uh, more than a new technology. It's about solving a real problem in a fresh, simple way to promote equity and improve learning. It comes in many forms. Programs, services, process, products, and partnerships. It can all enhance education. How it comes in innovative ways like a uh, customized uh, games uh, on uh, solar powered tablets that uh, deliver uh, English lessons uh, to children. Uh, and also a uh, digital learning platforms that uh, teach uh, English language for children. Innovation in education means uh, solving a real problem in a new, simple way to promote equitable learning. Innovation in education matches the skill of the solution to the skill of the challenge. It draws on the creativity and the experience of communities to ensure decisions are made by uh, those most affected uh, by their outcomes. Many innovators are already uh, at work in classrooms and communities. Uh, and the United Nations Children's Fund uh, collaborates with the partners to identify, uh, incubate, uh, and scale promising uh, innovations that help uh, fulfill every child's right to learn. Okay. Uh, they also uh, it's work to strengthen uh, uh, schools and governments uh, to build uh, strong, innovative education systems that enhance learning for all uh, children. Also, uh, let's talk about uh, the importance of innovation in education. 
increasingly a uh, innovation in education at school uh, is uh, fast uh, beco uh, becoming a way of learning and teaching for both uh, students and teachers um, uh, uh, respectively uh, Yes, uh, respectively, innovation encourages students and uh, teachers to research, uh, explore, and use uh, all uh, the tools to uncover something new. Innovation uh, involves uh, a, a different way uh, of looking uh, at the problems and solving them. It also improves education and, uh, and because it uh, compels students to use uh, a, a higher uh, level of thinking uh, to solve complex uh, problems. Also, in, uh, also, innovation does not just mean uh, is the use uh, of technology or uh, a new invention. It involves a new way of thinking, thereby helping students develop their creativity and problem-solving skills. However, here are different ways that the teacher can introduce innovation in the classroom. First one, by giving them a problem that both authentic and interesting. It means that a teacher needs to know about a student's interests. Authenticity involves using the real tools to tackle problems. Also, a teacher uh, have, uh, should, have, uh, should give students the basis, uh, but keep it short. Teacher will need to give uh, students uh, uh, some basic information and knowledge to get started on their projects. Also, a, a teacher should uh, encourage them to research independently. This, re this research can draw from, uh, for example, Wikipedia, internet message boards, a programming language, uh, a documentation, a sample uh, a code, and so on. Okay. Also, teacher should uh, build a complex, a, a students' complex skills. So teacher can encourage them to use uh, complex tools uh, to com uh, complete their uh, projects. So both teacher and the students need to become familiar with their tool to use them regularly. Okay, also teachers should check that the students have uh, understood the concepts in a classroom uh, focusing on a highly uh, individual in individualized projects. Teachers need to monitor, monitor what students are struggling with. Also, teachers should ensure that students find the uh, innovative, uh, innovative users uh, of everyday uh, objects. This will help students uh, uh, flex their uh, muscles and think beyond the standard users uh, of everyday objects. Also, teachers should uh, confirm that uh, students know what they still uh, need to learn in order to innovate and solve a problem that effectively students need to understand not only what they already know and what they still need to learn. Okay. Also, teacher uh, don't uh, should uh, shouldn't uh, grip the uh, uh, on innovation. Sorry, on uh, innovation and the creativity grades work really. Well, when there is one correct answer for a specific problem, for projects that emphasize innovation and creativity, there is no one answer. 
And uh, there is uh, a technique uh, that is uh, um, a very important for developing innovation in the classroom, in uh, ESL and ESL classroom and teaching. It's a uh, ask, investigate, create, discuss, reflect technique. It's an inquiry cycle, which has five steps. Ask. It is that uh, begins with uh, asking uh, new questions. It are inspired by learners' curiosity about real world experiences and the challenges. Second, investigate that uh, provide learners a uh, research to turn curiosity into action. Therefore, they gather information, uh, study, observe or interview and become self-motivated learners. Third, uh, create, uh, that provides uh, uh, learners a form active meaning of knowledge and they make uh, connections for composing the significant new ideas and extending their peer experiences. The first one, discuss is that the students can argue, share their ideas to others, ask others about their own experiences and construct knowledge together. The fifth one is reflect. A teach a student uh, at last a student take the time to look back at the initial questions, the research base, and make observations, conclusions, and new decisions. So uh, let's uh, uh, recognize uh, uh, about uh, some characteristics of uh, uh, learners. Uh, the first uh, characteristics is uh, trust and fairness. Uh, that means that learners treat uh, people uh, with respect and have ethical behavior, open and transparent communication. Uh, also, a uh, student uh, should uh, should be an um, entrepreneur, so they are self-reliant, uh, self-aware, and self-sufficient. Yeah, and the self-directed, relying more on self-service tools. Uh, they grow up uh, uh, having access uh, to a uh, search en uh, engines. Also, they are, uh, they are storytellers. Uh, they, um, they value uh, with uh, storytelling to provide a more immersive entertainment experiences. Yes. They also a uh, pragmatic. They realize that the life will not uh, uh, always be easy. Yes, uh, uh, and the failure is an opportunity to try again. Yes. They also self-starter with a strong desire to work for themselves and design their own programs of study, especially in colleges. They also have, have hands-on experiences. They also learn best by creating a hands-on experience. Also, the skill focus is you realize the importance of building a skill at a young stage. They also are highly progressive when it comes to social policy. Learners are, uh, we say about them, they are goal oriented. Yeah, it means that they focus on reaching specific objectives. And they are multitaskers, means that they perform, manage many tasks at the same time. 
the I they are diverse. They believe that the diversity is good for society. Is they have high rates of um, uh, depression and anxiety. So teacher can use some techniques to overcome uh, this uh, um, these characteristics. Also, uh, we can say about them, uh, 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 students are true digital natives. They consider uh, digital tools are necessary parts of life. So they are able to access, to access information at any time. Uh, also, uh, I would like uh, uh, to mention uh, some uh, tips for getting uh, uh, learners ready uh, for a uh, future and be innovative and creative. So teacher should depend on hands-on experience activities because the learners learn pace by doing and uh, follow is uh, a student uh, curiosity so design a best activities for them uh, to be suitable for their characteristics also teacher uh, should use a uh, more technology in the classroom not in order to replace uh, traditional subjects, uh, but uh, to enable a new intersections among them, encouraging new ideas and collaborations. Yeah, uh, sh uh, teachers should have uh, a more of a focus of on creativity in the classrooms, and it uh, will be play uh, a good uh, or a big role uh, in uh, learners' uh, futures. Success and solving today's challenges. Yes. And also, use uh, a teacher should uh, use a shorter uh, um, graphics, uh, multimedia, uh, can make uh, material uh, memorable and uh, providing a student with rational, uh, explain up front them why a lesson uh, is uh, important uh, and how it's applicable if, uh, in uh, the real world. Yeah. Also, teachers should make an effort to understand a uh, student or other, uh, make a student understand other cultures and how the diversity of a student uh, affects uh, how they see themselves and the world around them. Yeah. Uh, also, teachers should uh, support the student with the diverse books and materials uh, elec and electronic materials also uh, by incorporating the multi uh, culture literature uh, to focus uh, across the cultural understanding. Uh, yes, uh, also, use, uh, uh, teachers should use uh, uh, techniques that focus on uh, uh, positively as uh, trying rewarding uh, engagement with verbal uh, uh, praise. Yes. Also, uh, making uh, uh, student, uh, teachers should uh, make uh, accommodations by giving assignment uh, extension, uh, breaking tasks uh, into sm smaller paces, uh, uh, and uh, offering to help the students create uh, study plans. Yeah, uh, basis and offering uh, to help students uh, create uh, study plans. Uh, they may also encourage students to help one another. And uh, at last, uh, I, uh, I'd like uh, to thank you for your uh, listening and your uh, attention. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such an informative lecture. Uh, really sorry for uh, exceeding the time. Actually, the knowledge is a lot and the time is less. I request the students to please cooperate as they have cooperated earlier also. Really sorry for extending the time. Now, I would like to thank all our speakers for enlightening us and the attendee for making the conference successful. The, the feedback link will be shared with you on your email IDs. You need to fill that and within a few days, you will get your certificate. Thank you so much. With this, we will end the, uh, this session. Thank you all for joining the webinar. Kites Education is associated with the UI Incubator. 
we all thank you for giving your precious time to us thank you all